Welcome to Mr. Mover Manager Help. Today we're going to talk about the Customer File Cube Sheet. The Cube Sheet is where you're going to build a list of items that the customer would like you to move. There are three different types of Cube Sheets that are included when you purchase the software and you can change the Cube Sheet uh, right here if you want to uh, instead of using a residential list, we have a per room. I'll click on that. And what we've done here is we've broken up columns, basement, first floor, second floor, third floor, and miscellaneous. And then we just listed the basic rooms. And this will give you the ability to give a, a customer a, a quick and dirty estimate without going into all the details as far as what is in each room. If you're doing an office move estimate, you can change this to the office list. And we've broken out into office, conference and break room, supplies and miscellaneous, modular, and warehouse. So you can see the, the standard office moving uh, items in this list. We will switch it back to the residential list for sample purposes. Now within each column, you have the item name you have a not moving column and a quantity column to indicate uh, what items the customer wants you to move. To enter in quantities next to an item, you can right click on your mouse and it automatically adds one to it. If I click again, it adds a two, three. A left mouse click will subtract. Or I can simply click once to get the box around the field and then type in anything I want, 66 end tables. Uh, so it gives you a lot of flexibility for entering purposes. Once you have a quantity assigned to an item, you can right click on the item and it will turn it yellow. What that represents is it's a signal to yourself that you need to ask the customer a question regarding this item. So let's say an inventory came in from the internet and uh, it had a refrigerator indicated you can highlight it to remind yourself the next time you talk to the customer you need to ask the customer if there's a water line attached to it. Once you've answered that question you can click it again and it'll, it'll uh, not be yellow anymore. If you left click on the item you will see the information regarding that particular item. You can see the armchair. You can't change the name but this is where it shows the default cube, square footage, points, and per piece rate. Uh, the cube, so you can change this on a per customer basis if you need to. This is the standard that's in the default cube sheet under residential list. The cube sheets, uh, the cube is pretty standard in the industry. How much space this piece is going to take up on the truck, length, time, width, time, height. The square footage is used mainly on office moving. Uh, it's going to indicate how much floor space this particular item is going to take. So it's just taking length times width uh, to come up with the square footage. Uh, used mainly when you're calculating number of trailer loads you're going to need on an office move when you're floor loading a trailer load. The point value is used by the software to determine how difficult it is to move this item, so how long it's going to take. One point means one mover can move it easily. So two points means it would take two movers easily to move this item. Those point values are then used to determine the estimated amount of time it's going to take to move the whole shipment. If you wish to charge your customers on a per piece basis, you have the ability to put a price per piece right here. So let's say you're going to charge $10 to move an armchair. You can put $10 in here and then um, on the price sheet of the customer file you can indicate that you're charging per piece and it will automatically add up all the charges for all the quantities that you have within your cube sheet. The notes section is for this particular item you can have default notes for an armchair and then whenever you pr we print out the cube sheet it will print out the notes. It's notes to the customer regarding this particular item. Okay we'll close that window. Another feature that we have is you have the ability to automate uh, pop-up messages for particular items in your cube sheet. In other words, under refrigerator, if I put a quantity in there, it pops up a message asking, is there a water line? This is a reminder to the person entering in the cube sheet to ask particular questions to the customer regarding the item that they're indicating. Click 
OK. Another feature of the cube sheet is when you're setting up items within the default, you can set up a sentence or a statement that will print out on the customer's estimate regarding um, the items that are in their cube sheet. In other words, again with refrigerator, I can set up a sentence that whenever there's a refrigerator indicated in the cube sheet, it will automatically print out a statement on the estimate stating all water lines must be disconnected from refrigerators before the move can begin. Something like that. So you can actually create a sentence that will automatically appear whenever an item is indicated in the cube sheet. Now let's say a customer has an item that is rather unusual and is not in your standard cube sheet. You have the ability to add items to any customer's cube sheet by going to the first blank spot in a column and you can pick any column you want. Uh, you can scroll down and, and pick the last one in any one. And you click on that column in that spot and it's going to pop up a add cube sheet item window. Now you can begin typing in the item. So I'm going to type in K I L and it's going to find kiln. Now we have just a huge list of other things that uh, you might find. So um, when you begin typing it's going to find it for you. So I'm going to select that and when I tab off of that field it's automatically going to fill in the cube points square footage and rate. So um, if you don't like what you see, I don't like that cube sheet, I'm going to make that a 15. This is a really big kiln and six points is good. Save and close. So it adds kiln to the spot where I began. Now I have to remember to put a quantity next to it. By default, we assume you want to put the whole shipment, the customers, all the items for the customer in one uh, cube sheet. But you don't have to. You can break them out by room. So you'll notice on the bottom of the screen here we have a, a tab called Summary. This tab represents uh, different rooms that you could use. And when you use Summary, it means it's the whole house. If you'd rather do it per room, what you can do is you can add a room. And what it's going to do is pop up a window. And you can create a list of your default rooms. So you can, create, you can update this list here. But let's say we're going to do a master bedroom. Save and close. What it does, it adds a new tab down here called master bedroom. And now you have a blank cube sheet that you can enter in. The items are in the master bedroom. So at this point, it doesn't matter what column it's in. If they happen to have a uh, you know a sofa in their bedroom, you just put that. And then uh, the water bed must be drained. A couple of bookcases. So that's what's in the master bedroom. Now I add another room, and we'll just call this bedroom number two. But you know you can also type this and type in Adam's room. So you can customize it. And now we have a blank one. We can put in what's in Adam's room. Now, we probably want to change this tab to no longer say Summary. So what you do is you just click the Edit Room button, and it brings up your name. And now you can drop it down and say, well, this is actually going to be the living room. So now we've got living room, master bedroom, Adam's room. Uh, you can have as many rooms as you need. Within each room, you can indicate the quantities. When you print this out, it will print out per room. Now you're going along and all of a sudden a customer says, oh, you know what, I want to start all over. We give you a clear list button and what this will do is it will remove every quantity behind every item there. And once you click that button, it's gone. You can't re retrieve it. You can't recover it. At the bottom of the form here, we're going to tell you the total number of items that are in the cube sheet, the total cube, the density, and the square footage. The density is a very simple mathematical formula. We take the cube divided by the number of items. The higher the density, the less efficient the driver is going to be able to load the truck. Uh, because if you've got a lot of couches and not many smaller things that you can fill in little holes, uh, you will not be able to load the truck as efficiently and you will not get as much stuff in the truck with a higher density. And we actually use that uh, density factor when we're looking at the uh, size truck that dispatch is trying to dispatch on it to, s to help them determine whether or not it will fit. One of the nicest features of the cube sheet is it is 100% customizable by you. 
The only limitation we have is you can only have a maximum of five columns. But you can create additional cube sheets. So let's say one particular salesperson likes this cube sheet in a certain way. You can create a cube sheet called Ray's Cube Sheet, and that would be the one that he would always use. Or um, you can customize your residential list. If you live in a part of the country where every other house has a kiln in it, you'd probably want to add kiln to your default cube sheet. You can change the name of the headers. You can change what's in the columns. Um, you can change the pop-up message or the message that gets uh, sent out in the customer's quote. To make changes to the default cube sheets, you'd go to Administration, Cube Sheet List. And in here you'll see uh, tabs for the different cube, cube sheets that are currently generated. And under the headings up here, you can create a new cube sheet. You can add an existing one, delete it. Um, items are items that go onto a cube sheet, so you can build a list of the different items. Again, we have a huge list already. Uh, so if you click on Show Me within the group of residential, you're going to see here just a huge list of items that are already in our list that you can use to create your own custom cube sheet. Well, that is everything there is to know about the Customer File Cube Sheet. I hope that helped.